What's going on YouTube? Here I have a 511 Tactical Flex Admin Pouch. I want to tell you a little about it, why I like it, and everything that's inside of it. So I want to give you the dimensions on this thing. It is about six and a half by four and a half. And on, on their website it says an inch in depth, but with all the gear I have in there, it's about two and a half inches. And here is the front of the pouch, it kind of has this Velcro and I put some old military patches on there. And it has this laser cut molly system. And here behind the molly system, I have a little SOG Sente 2 knife, just a little pocket knife. I like it because it's hidden behind there. You know, I bought it because I could put it in unique places and it can be concealed. So great little, I believe this is about $15 or so. So great little pocket knife, nothing special. So kind of get what you pay for with some of these things. And this pouch I believe is currently $36 on their website. I think I want to say I paid about 30 for this after coupons and things like that. So it does have uh, a double layered 500D nylon that's weather resistant so to keep your things nice and dry inside and here on the back it has a, a different type of uh, molly system I forget what it's called but it's multifunctional like you could put this strap on a backpack you can adjust it for your belt and you can also adjust it different ways to fit different gear so this would be a cool little thing to actually organize your things and throw in a backpack so you have some sort of tool set up or, you know, daily things that you need. So inside of here, I have some EDC gear or a bunch of EDC gear. Now this strap right here is made for a cell phone, I believe. So I don't currently use it for anything, but I do have a notepad behind that, which works out perfect. Uh, one thing to know, if you do have this on your belt loop, these little strings right here will hold this up so nothing's really falling out on you or just falling over. So if you needed a quick look at your cell phone, you could easily just do whatever you need to do and be good to go. Here I have a Streamlight MicroStream flashlight. This is the rechargeable one, USB has a charging indicator. It will do red when it's charging and green when it's fully charged. Has a hat clip, belt clip. I believe this flashlight's like 250 lumens or so on high. I probably need to charge this thing up. But here you can see the functionality of the wide beam and the narrow beam. And one thing I do like is that it's not something that's over or high powered because in some scenarios like looking through glass or a car window you could actually blind yourself or hinder your vision looking through so that's one thing to take note of this does cost about thirty dollars which is a very good deal the battery life on high is an hour and a half and on low which you halfway depress it is three hours which is very good so I definitely like this flashlight. It's small where you could put it in your pocket every day. So great EDC flashlight right there. Up next, I have a Gerber arm bar. And one of the main things I like about this is the bit driver here. It is magnetic. It is a functional screwdriver or flathead, which is the other side. So I love that feature. I wish it did lock into place in different areas. But, you know, yet again, this thing what did cost me $40. I believe now you can pick it up for about $27. It does have an awe in here. And that does not lock in place. And here are the scissors. They're a little awkward to use in some scenarios. But here are the scissors. You have to rotate them to use them, which I don't like that feature. And I wish you got a little bit more depth out of this uh, spring back here. So you could only cut things 
that are only so big and if you want to cut bigger things you have to manually open it to cut it so I have cut paper zip ties and cardboard with this and it's worked just fine just kind of nitpicking the product for $40 I spent on it here on the uh, other side is a knife this knife blade is about two and a half inches it does lock into place as the other tools do, does not and so I did need to sharpen this out of the box because it was pretty dull. Here it has a bottle opener and a pry bar. I don't know really what you're going to pry with that. Maybe just little things. Uh, you can use this as a little hammer as well. So that's a nice little function on here. I like when tools do that. Here I have a nail puller as well as a pry bar. It is a functional one. I got this on Amazon for about $40. And I def I bought this for the nail pulling feature because I work construction. I do finished carpentry and framing. And you get up and under a nail and it does have the angle which you can lift it up if need be. This is made out of titanium. It does have a pocket clip, which I like. The only odd thing about the pocket clip is now it's this wide in your pocket versus this wide. So I do wish it was on the outside of it. But great overall tool for being $40. And it does have a bottle opener, which I hate that every tool nowadays has a bottle opener on it. Up next, I have a Milwaukee knife. This knife cost me $52 at homedepot.com. It is a Milwaukee brand, and I definitely love this stonewash finish to it. It has D2 steel, which is pretty good in my eyes. And it, the action to open this is a little tab here, and you just press down, and it opens up. And here's the locking mechanism. And here's the other side. It kind of has this black plastic. I don't know if this is G10 or not. And this is the Hardline Edition Milwaukee knife. And it does have a red insert. But great all-around pocket knife. Gets the job done. It's pretty small. I don't know the dimensions on this. But the handle of this knife, let's say it's a 3 inches and 3 quarters. So barely notice it in my pocket and it works well. Up next, I have the Nipex Cobra SX. These are a very small set of channel locks, and I definitely love this feature of the cutouts for bolts. It really grips tight on bolts. I don't have one here to kind of show you how well it does, but it does have like this micro adjustment compared to other ones I've used in the past. The only downside to this thing is sometimes when you're actually turning a bolt you only have so much grip on these handles where then it's kind of awkward to turn or tighten things here i have a sidewinder uh, from outdoor edge this thing's pretty cheap it's about ten dollars it has a flat head and part of a phillips pocket clip and I believe this is a can opener, can opener in front. My only gripe is it feels cheap, and it was. And you only get so much blade length out of the utility knife. But very small form factor. I know there's smaller ones out there. But I didn't want to spend $100 for a skeleton, skeletonized version of a utility knife. This uh, bar here does feel a little flimsy so if you are cutting something the blade might come back and retract so that's one thing to keep note of but great tool for ten dollars here I have a Norwalco pen I bought this on Amazon it was about two pens for ten dollars and it's three and a half inches and if I need to take a quick note on measurements for work or write a quick signature on paperwork I have something to use but great overall pen I know there's different pens out there and once again some of the pens are a little crazy for micro pens out there 
I could, they cost anywhere from like $60 to $100, which I'm not willing to pay for a pen. So I want to say that's it for the tools and some other gear I carry is about two feet of duct tape, very compact and small. About five large band-aids. And I usually buy the bigger packs at a Costco or Sam's Club and break them apart and put them in different packs or kits. Here's a small pair of latex gloves. A small Bic lighter. And three small zip ties. So here's the pockets of this pouch or organizer. There's two divided up here. There's one large opening right here, and there's three elastic ones. And I find it fits a lot of gear in there, and it feels somewhat organized, even though I wish there may be a divider here or something to kind of hold things together. But it does give you that extra room to put more things in there. And I, this came with this uh, uh, organizer. And you kind of put it up front, and I believe there's some sort of 511 uh, bag or backpack that has attachments for this. So you can have a quick release function, where if you need this pack and you need to go, you can just rip it off and get to where you need to go. So great overall organizer. One thing to note, I find it useful on the belt. It does fit tight in the pockets. I wear pretty big size jeans so they do work it does work well fits in my back pocket and front pocket but thanks for watching this video make sure to hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys later